Tie what it means. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on the bumper. Ready? Swing yep. it, you know. Your brother face with hard luck. Face to face. Face with hard luck. Pips and card shots, Steve Smurdy was with hard luck. Pips and card shots, Steve Smurdy was with hard luck. Your brother face with hard luck. Face to face. Face to face with hard luck. Card shots, Steve Smurdy was with hard luck. Pips and card shots, Steve Smurdy was with hard luck. Good morning and welcome to the Hard Luck Show. I'm your certified host, Steve Lucky Luciano. Sitting across from me is. Chumahan Bone, American, Indian, Southern Californian, elegant barbarian. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And on sound. Sean Lewis, certified audio <laughs> professional engineer for our hard luck show. Yeah, old blue eyes. Oh, Jesus blue Christ. Christ. Jesus Christ. 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 Blue eyes. And we've got King Salmon and Big Pick Mike on visuals. Yeah. That's right, guys. Hey, hey! You know who we got coming? Oh, in? come on! All the way from the lie, yeah, yeah, yeah! It's Mr. Bowtie in the house. Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Bowtie. Yeah. Mr. Oh, Bowtie. Oh, what's up, Ken? Oh, good, good. Yeah. yeah. What's up, G? Soul Assassin. Good. Always good to slide through, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Chop it up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Last time we chopped it up was on the pier. You remember no, that? dude, that was at Estevan's. No, deal. was that the? Oh no, but on the show. Oh, on the show. We did an episode from the pier. We did do. No, it. that was. Uh, yeah, that we, was Dockweiler. Yeah, we talked. Was it was Dockweiler. Dockweiler in the car, Pelicano. Oh, Pelicano. I thought. Okay, it wasn't the pier. It wasn't San Marco Pier. It was Dockweiler Beach. That's but right. then you were at Esteban's we thing, Esteban's right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were. Yeah, we were all see. kicking it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, this motherfucking Mr. Bowtie's at, at everything. All Esteban. He man. was down at the fucking. I saw Mr. Bowtie over at a fucking. Anaheim. Oh, no. no. San Diego. San Diego. Oh, Bobby yeah. Charles oh, thing, you were there. Moving cars. It's a legacy. legacy. Yeah, yeah legacy. legacy. <laughs> legacy, yeah, which all the big in... events. All yeah, that good stuff, you're always you know, there, hanging out. Yeah, right. Our legacy was off the hook. They were no, both of you guys were there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Susan he was there. Action. I wasn't there. Big Lux was handling some business. Yes, yes, blowing cookies up even bigger than it is. That was actually a great show. A little controversy. A little. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They you know, hit me like, up. They're like, we need a lawyer's report. And I'm we, like, we need to figure this out. I told them straight up. I'm like, yeah, they they gotta have a process. They can't just throw that shit out like that. But the the tension it brought was doubled and yeah. So they got a second go leg. They got a second leg out of it. Yeah. They were on the fucking cover of the fucking. Yes, they were my friend. With that stuff. Yeah. You know? Yes, they were my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was talking. That was, to... that was pretty good, Bobby. I mean, you know. I like when he gets heated. Yeah, he gets. He, he gets got a little up. heated. He was like, "What's going on?" That's what I mean. I thought, uh, we'll take everything. Yeah, fuck it, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll burn the shit down. We'll fuck yeah. it. What are you talking about? So so at the Legacy show, the OG's, car show in San Diego, right? But it was like a massive thing that was an installation at like the California Center for the Arts, Contemporary Arts, and like so it's it's you know funded by public funds and blah 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 blah. Well, and OG Slick had an installation there that had <clears throat> uh, some. It had like a picture behind it with spray paint on it, and then it had some pigs, right, in cop uniforms with some fucking pink donuts at the fucking thing. Which, all right, we all know, cops, pigs, donuts, we get it, and cops have not necessarily been the biggest supporters of the Chicano art movement, right? Let's just say it that way. And so what happened was these Escondido motherfuckers, mm -hmm. right, not... Escondido. Mm -hmm. I mean, Probably imagine. I mean, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I'd be mad if I was an escondido -er too. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, Legacy and the Chicanos brought a lot of business down to that town. Yeah, yeah. They were selling yeah. lot think be selling merch. a lot of merch. A lot of merch. A lot of taxes yeah. on that merch. Yeah. That tax, it went into the coffers. Yeah, you'd yeah. think. You'd think. So what happened was... Um, Somebody on the police force in Escondido was like, "Yeah, that ain't cool, man. Like you, no, you can't criticizing the fuck expressing yourself, huh? Oh, you can't have that in America. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> so they had a guy 
so the police chief had a friend that was on the either an administrator or somebody high up on the board of trustees for the and without talking to anybody else he went ahead and gave an interview and started pushing back so yeah we're probably gonna have to remove og slick shit out of there you can't be talking about the cops like that mm. and then i got i dude i was in wisconsin with the skinny king salmon i got calls from bobby and jim dation they're like what the fuck i thought like, you were there no, 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 no. I was there during that, that was time. The opening, the, that was the opening oh, okay. day. Right, controversy. By they that waited, Monday. Right. They waited. On, so you got to imagine, right? Jim, Jim and Bobby are exhausted after putting all the shit in and having opening day, right? They, I told Jim, I'm like, they, these, these, this is a bureaucratic move. They waited until you guys got your first opening day out. Everyone's tired. You're ready to go on vacation for a minute. Let this thing fucking do whatever. Then they pull this bullshit. We're going to kick out OGC. And this isn't right. And it's, it was in the local Escondido Tribune or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. Trumpet, right? And it was like, you know. And they had, and, and the, whoever it was that gave the interview on the cop side that represented, didn't represent the, the California Center for Contemporary Arts, made it sound like a decision had already been made and it was the train had left the station. So then I was already on my trip with Skinny. We went to a fucking, they called me up and they're like, what are we gonna do? I'm like, two things. Number one, if it's publicly funded, they can't shut somebody down for a speech. I mean, that's, they wanna do that. Oh, you're gonna have, it's gonna be that. Your show's gonna make more money you ever seen. Right. Right, it's gonna be big money. <clears throat> And then also, I told them, like, check the bylaws of the center because you can't, the center has bylaws. They have to abide by certain rules or whatever that they set for themselves. Otherwise, you just arbitrarily have people throwing shit in and throwing shit out. And there's a lot of artists that, you know, um, their value, their worth, their time, their energy, whatever, went into having this thing accepted there. So to have it challenged, it's got to be due process, got to be this whole thing. Was it an obscenity? It wasn't. I told him, I'm like, this is a fucking donuts, cops, and pig. That's been since like 1968, bro. Yeah. Like, that's not that crazy. Right. Could be a lot crazier than this fucking George Floyd, Trayvon Martin fucking right. shit we're dealing right. with these right. days, right. right? So, they were able to fucking gin up the fucking, right? Bobby went down there, fucking start slapping people around, pulling my head lost, fucking Mr. Bowtie flexed a little bit, fucking. <laughs> Right, and they rethought their whole thing and thought, you know what? After careful consideration, we we think OG OG Slicks, you know, thing is a protection of free speech. We like it, and it's oh, stayed. we like it. Now we like, like it now. All the cops came in. Like well, see, that's a great point because the art, the people, the background, graffiti, lowriders, everything. You know, you have everybody in San Diego, but they think you're not smart enough to pursue it you think you know oh we'll just kick them out right but they don't realize the context people we know research legal shit that we've all had to deal with mm -hmm. put you smarter up on the game so when you mm -hmm. stand up it shows a force that hey we're not all stupid and fucking standing around and yeah you know. we convinced these motherfuckers that the juice wasn't worth the squeeze right yeah it was a, it was an eye opener it was you know. what'd you bring down there uh, I just finished up Bobby's car, so I brought it down and uh, helped him display that. Which that car? A, his uh, 63, his convertible. The gray one. How many cars does he have? Uh, shit. <laughs> I believe four? Yeah. Four of them? You know. These cars are all works of art. Pieces. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all the cars were fucking. Dude, the, how many cars were there? Cause they they set it all up outside. It was why like, did you guys have all your cars there? Esteban, did you no, guys no, have a car? Esteban was there. Esteban didn't bring. Paige brought his car. Slick brought his. Yeah. And then uh, everybody else was local. He had Elite um, and uh, Pegasus. A couple other people show up from LA. A lot of it was local, you know, but hand picked. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best. Curated. Like, like a big party. Yeah. So it was cool turnout. Yeah, it was it was amazing. The beer garden sold out. You know what I mean? The taco trucks and everybody else came out. The vendor they sold out. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Mr. Bowtie, what's the matter with this fucking country? Right? <laughs> huh. Yeah. No, there's so much what going the on. Fuck, what's going on out there, man? <laughs> I mean, you sent me some real good shit. Oh yeah, there's some interesting shit. What are you there. sending this dude? What are you sending him? Man, life quotes, oh. some funny yeah. shit. 
Yep. Well, what what are you seeing? What are you seeing? There's a lot of idiots out there. Well, I My mean, friend over here is quick to fucking point them out. Not necessarily point, mm -hmm. but bring attention to them. Mm -hmm. We don't point where I come from, but you know what I'm That's saying. That's absolutely right. You're <laughs> absolutely right. Nobody pointed nowhere. We don't point, but it'd be like, hey, pst, you know, eye roll, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> you know, what's to the left? Sure. Right, right, right. Sharing. Yeah, there's a lot. Sharing. I mean, look at now. Look at the weather. <laughs> fucking Fuck. idiot weather. <laughs> fucking cold ass. Be Ar cold or hot? What? Which one is it? Can't make up my mind. I mean, you know? dude, that's true. It was this week has been cold in L.A. Right, a little nippy, but then today it was like fucking hot. Today it was like beautiful. Yeah. Last few days it's like this is bullshit, you know. Right, it's like or at least it'll be good for Christmas. You know, New Year's Day's looking good. Everyone's gonna be out. You know, North Hollywood supporting the Majestics out there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a big turnout. You know. Mm -hmm. Are there a lot of toy? Were there a lot of toy drives going on? There was a few, but nothing really like solid or promoted. You know, that uh, word of mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it, I think it ended up raining that Saturday when it finally rained out here. So, you know, people don't know if they should show up or not right. or fucking go back and forth. But Yeah, rain freaks out Angelinos, bro. Bro, have right. you seen the freeways lately? Oh, yeah. They're either doing 35 or 95. Right, there's no in-between. Oh, yeah. no in there's no in-between. No, mm -hmm. fucking little little moisture. gets dark a little early. Whoa. Fuck. Uh, right. What's going on with all these fucking meetups with all these cars that are doing donuts running everybody over? <laughs> That's like his favorite <laughs> I mean, man. No, but it's crazy, right? I see it all the time. These motherfuckers are like standing there with their girlfriends in a 40-ounce and they just get fucking knocked over like <laughs> pinwheels. Or, yeah, or like fucking cars <laughs> you sitting on her boyfriend. Hey, or, but the first couple times you've seen that, you know, Instagram, internet, wherever you saw it, like oh shit that oh, man. shit yeah but now it looks like people are running out there to fucking get we hit get hit oh, yeah that's it, right. hit. That's it. Right. Yeah. yeah 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 it's like when they opened the sixth street bridge the fuck are you getting your hair cut on the bridge for you know <laughs> it's crazy over bro. here and fucking complete craziness I mean, just the shit you saw it's like they fuck. got a barber doing fades on the motherfucking bridge yeah and they're over there <laughs> sea walking and fucking filming videos and, and trying fucking... to do donuts, you know. Yeah, dude. Tokyo Drift. How about the dude that crashes on the on the fucking? Well, they bridge. had to shut the bridge down for a minute, right? Yeah. They were like, "Yeah, we got we just built this bridge. Now we got to shut the fuck down because you guys are going crazy building doing haircuts." So I don't know. It's something in the air, man. Whatever looks cool, fucking. That's what happens when you make people stay indoors for a long time. A couple of years indoors, they forget the rules of outside. The freedom, huh? <laughs> oh, fucking man, dude. start standing next to fucking smoking wheels and fucking doing two ton truck. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but hit me, hit me. I'm right here. Hit me. Yeah, dude. Like, I don't yeah. understand that, but I've seen them. Yeah, video games the will do that to you too because everyone gets hit in a video game, but no one actually dies. You oh, forget true. that ain't real life. In real life, one of your legs is going to be shorter than the other one for the rest of your life. Yeah. That is true. But yeah. Grand Theft Auto is just a recreation of Los Angeles. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, that's Certain true. Areas. That's true. So, they kind of work. Oh, right. yeah, these fucking games, bro. All they're doing is going out and just fucking... The whole object of the game is to go slaughter people. Right. Yeah, end of the day. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Well, what's crazy is being online... You know, 360, you can actually see the people now. Fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got these chicks that come on now. And it's a marketing <sighs> thing. And that's the new OnlyFans where you see them, like, start... Oh, yeah. I'm a gamer. I flirt with guys. Hey, if you want to see me, and their link. And no like, way. Fucking everything's out there. Really? Bro. Yeah. Steve's like, I'm going to get a controller right now. They're like, you got to escort 1-800 fucking... Give so me imagine... Your hey, you know, but yeah, but remember back in the day, dude... Listen, yeah, that's, I mean, that's bullshit. It's weird. It's crazy. But do you remember? I mean, there was a time in this country, bro, where people were on party lines oh, talking yeah. to <laughs> chicks, right? Fat motherfuckers. Sex. Talking to chicks. There was sex lines. Right. Oh, right. Do you remember that? On a telephone. Your ear getting all fucking sweaty you and shit. Because you're like, 11 o'clock when you're watching TV. And <laughs> yeah, yeah that's coming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right, Someone lonely. To talk to? Yeah, yeah, lonely yeah. accountant dudes yeah. calling chicks up on the fucking. Oh, the party lines. Fuck. Oh, Remember God, that? Dude. That motherfucker was crazy, bro. That was like gangbang central. Everybody was phone banging. <laughs> I don't care who. You're lying if you said you didn't. To you, everybody's lying. <laughs> I don't give a shit because. Yeah. God you heard damn. one thing. Oh, what? So You'd be so. screaming over somebody. Hey, call me on my own number. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm going to say it again. 
And then the uh, fools call that right. would, you know, get the collect call the through from county. That's right, I'm right here. <laughs> you know, like start gang banging on everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, so like, yeah, I mean, the OnlyFans and all that stuff, I just figure like, fuck it, you know. I mean, what you gonna do? You gotta get yourself an OnlyFans. Well, fan. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Something with cars. Just dance around and wax them. So there has to be some freak for that shit. Yeah. Oh, dude, oh are you kidding me? Are you crazy, bro? Are you kidding me, if bro? dudes are in the feet. Yeah, bro. Uh, I'm telling you right now. If you start having that's them, like normal. Start having them wash the cars that's or wax saying, the cars. Wash, them, wax, do and something. And that's all you do. Just film them doing that. There's guys that pay money to watch girls golf. But that's what I'm saying. So dude, there's like, like that. Japanese dudes that'll put money in a fucking vending machine to get used underwear and yeah. smell it. That's all they get. Yeah, see, I'm fucking up, man. Just, I know. Just, I'm fucking up, too. You know? We should just start getting bugging, going down and getting the hookers' panties and just cutting them up into little dude, squares. Dude, you don't even need to do that. Sell Listen. Them. Fucking, you know what you Some do? Japan. Listen, you don't even need to do that. You go down to this goddamn swap meet, you get yourself a whole bunch of panties, right? Have Mr. Bowtie drive over him with a car a couple of times, make him look used. Mm. Run him through some fucking fish sticks. Fucking Run just... him through some fish sticks, he said. <laughs> fucking Run sell him through some fish sticks. <laughs> you know what I mean? This motherfucker's like, dip him in some clam juice. <laughs> you know, don't be surprised if you get an inquiry like, hey, where can I get something? <laughs> like, asking for a friend, you know? I want, right. uh, yeah, yeah, I just want the like, ones that uh, are uh, rinsed is... in clam juice. <laughs> go, go, no, go on to Etsy. Just take some random Etsy. photos right yeah. you fucking put the put a photo on top of this fucking fucked up uh, underwear fucking you guys you little don't have to eye do dropper a little yeah, yeah. there yeah. you go right there fucking go. right put a little frosting on him or whatever <laughs> 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 these guys are sick bastards <laughs> a little frosting on him yeah you know you, you, you have a side look. business we don't know about <laughs> I know a little cacalas on him you know? yeah. yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's deep <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, but oh, yeah, man. right. Anyway. So where was that swap me that again? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hey, yeah, man, so there's a there's fucking... a freak for every fucking. I mean, it's yeah, crazy. There's a freak yeah, there's for every... something for everybody. Everybody. Bro. I just don't know how those dudes do regular life. You know what I mean? Like I, like at what point do they click off and and say, all right. You know, right. It's Friday at six thirty. I'm gonna right. fucking like put on my belt. I'm going like on a work that. trip. Yeah. Right. There's a feet guy. There's the fucking midget people. There's the like. There's something for everybody, bro. Anything you come up with. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, what? I got a good story what? about yeah. freaks. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So we have friends in the entertainment industry. Uh -huh. Right. Well, uh -huh. this one just happened to be like, she was a stripper. Okay. Okay. But All we right. used to party in this club at t up at the top, and it'd be a glass floor. Okay. So we'd be in there and went, come in here, come in here right now, come in here right now. All right, whatever, fuck, we're on our way. Just go to the VIP, so we know to go upstairs. Uh huh. And she has this man handcuffed <laughs> behind him to his chair, <laughs> his pants pulled down, <laughs> and she's just kicking him in his balls. She's stepping <laughs> on, him, she's spitting on him, uh, kicking him in his balls. We're like fuck, and I was like, how long has it been going on? Oh, about an hour. <laughs> I said, holy shit, it was what, Vladimir this is crazy. Putin. So the songs keep going on, <laughs> and she's slapping him. He's Guy yeah, now owes like, right, $1,700. Right? Yeah, yeah, Bill he, Gates. He, no, he's well into it, but this is a norm. He comes right. like once or twice a month. He needs it. The finale was, and this was way before, this is like early 90s, maybe <laughs> mid 90s, somewhere around there. She fucking pisses on him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's so happy. Yeah. Right? Really? She uncuffs him. You see him get cleaned up, this, that, and the other. Well, she jacks his wallet, flipped it open. It's LAPD fucking detective. Wow. Oh. And she's like, yeah, he comes in all the time. Mark Furman. Mark not saying Furman. no names, but no, I, I never that. got his name. But right, right. I'm just making a guess. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, she, she was good for Van like, Adder. I think just kidding. We don't know. Three I'm or four legend. grand every time he came in. Can you imagine somebody pays for that? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So imagine the mindset... <laughs> Of the people we're talking about, with that right? Record. And that's like they're off time. Yeah, yeah. That's a guy. Like he's running his regular life, and all he's thinking about is, oh well, man, in two weeks I'm gonna get my weeks, balls stomped. Two weeks, I got enough money on. to get fucking just manhandled. I hope she farts in my face this time. Yeah, yeah. You'd hear all kinds of stories coming out of those places. So, 
<laughs> yeah, what's work. weird is is like I was reading this book Tokyo Vice, and they were talking about like in Tokyo, Tokyo what's Vice. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real American journalist, dude. Jacob Adelstein, he, he he becomes a journalist. He speaks Japanese, but he's married. He becomes a journalist for the, like the biggest national Japanese n- newspaper, and then he works the Vice District, and so he's in all that sex shit. Really? And he's talking about some crazy shit, bro. Like you're like on some of it, you're just like, man, I don't, can that be real? Right. Like honest to God, like is somebody really setting that up? One of the ones that I can't believe. Uh-huh. This is I can't believe that this is just me. Yeah. I know it exists. Uh-huh. I just can't believe mm-hmm. it. And it's not even that freaky. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy to me. Mm-hmm. They got a fucking host bar, right? Now these Japanese dudes and women, mm-hmm. from the guy ones and the girl ones, they pay like four thousand dollars just to sit down and have a drink with like a hot chick. Right. And that's it. Dude, they do that out here in Mexican yeah. bars. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah, they have I don't pay Korean you four thousand. I better have down, all my fluids down, drained. And if I get a beer at the bar, it's four bucks. But if this lady comes over and talks to you and she grabs yeah, a beer, it's automatically $15, 15, 20 yeah. dollars. You're like, oh. Yeah, but fifteen and twenty may be a thousand. <laughs> I mean, god damn. Well, man, there's some of these Korean places that these guys yeah. would pay. But and the women are just to sit there and say nothing. Just they're sit not next even to doing nothing. Look no. at the guys. There might be some yeah. like Microsoft fucking super geniuses don't even know how to wipe their ass, yeah. and can never touch. So fuck it, I'll just pay and she can sit here. I don't know. I'll That's take like pictures a... from my Instagram yeah. and all the other homies would be right there. I could kind of like under... some weird cultural shit. Though. Again, getting punched in the throat. I could understand that more than I can understand spending all that money just to have a drink with a chick. Yeah. I like, know a guy the... that's in defeat. Uh-huh. And he's fucking posting pictures, you know. Uh, <laughs> chicks smashing fucking watermelons. Next thing you know, he's drinking watermelon juice and, you know, smoking blunts out of her toes. So I, fuck. I know a guy. I know I, a guy. Listen, I know a guy that's into stinky women armpits. What? Yeah, that's true. And he, he pays to get like old shirts. And he smells them. And he's been kicked out of a few places for stealing women's coats. Bro. Dude. Tell them about the your friend Which who was into women with uh, lactating. Uh, lactating mamas? Okay, listen. <laughs> listen, bro. I had some. Lactating Latinas? I had a, listen, I had, a, I had a friend. Okay, this guy. Right? Mike never been. I never seen Mike smile so way so, as soon as I said <laughs> lactating Latinas. <laughs> He's like, I got that one. Part one <laughs> and two. <laughs> I bought the whole motherfucking series of that it's one. It's called Breast Pump. <laughs> <laughs> called Brown Pancakes. You know what's funny, though? A short stack of pancakes. <laughs> Buckwheat pancakes. <laughs> Griddle cakes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pumpkin oh. butt. Flapjack. Flapjack. <laughs> Flapjack Jenny. <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> Spatula wars. <laughs> yeah. I knew a dude. I ain't your mama. <laughs> Crusties. <laughs> yeah. Crusties. Kodiak kicks. <laughs> Dude, sick, bro. Sick man over here. He's naming off all the pancakes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I Fuck. know him all. Kodiak. Yeah, so Kodiak. Kodiak kicks. <laughs> Paleo <laughs> smacks. <laughs> Can, can we still say Aunt Jemima? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, uh, you can. Butter, I got a real butter with. I got a real fucking fetish, dude, for pancakes. Oh, I didn't know where you're going. Oh, God damn it. I love yeah, who pancakes. Who doesn't dude. like pancakes? Is yeah. there anybody that doesn't like pancakes? Yeah, I don't think there's nobody that likes pancakes. I'll leave right from here and go to IHOP and get a short stack. I get myself a little bit. I can't stack. even. I don't remember that fucking place up on Hollywood. Uh, Boulevard, like by where Laurel Canyon griddle. comes down, the griddle. The griddle. Oh, yeah. the griddle cafe. Yeah, yeah. I had to make it. Right. 
But this dude from Iran. <laughs> no, you ain't. This dude from Iran, dude. I knew he used to call him Juicy Eyes because he had the biggest eyeball. He looked like Simpsons. He looked like a Sim- Now, this dude was a. He was from a real rich family. He was one of these Malibu recovery guys, right? Oh, okay. I mean, real weird fucker. Right. Right. For at least for like a month, all he wore was silk pajamas at the fucking recovery. Oh. Didn't have no job. Ain't the peanut butter jar guy though. No, that guy's awesome. Okay. I uh, love that guy. Right. That guy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he had that guy peanut butter. He had fake teeth. And he passed out okay. in the fucking the recovery house. Dog was licking his fucking teeth. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, but I thought a, we knew interesting people. Nah, these people were real weird. Talking about dogs and peanut butter, yeah, bro. Nah, like, bro. Crazy. Yeah. They were paying like okay, yeah. but anyway, this guy Iran, right? Mm-hmm. Iran eyeballs. He finally got well enough to get his own place. Mm. All right, so he's renting a joint out in Owen County. Now he was trying to get into the weirdest sex thing you could you could ever imagine. He was trying to. Like, he was looking for weird shit. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of the ones that he tried was he started looking, like, in the back pages or whatever uh-huh. for a lactating chick. All right. Because he wanted to suck, hey, hey, hey. drink breast milk or oh, whatever, God right? Damn. And sure enough, dude, within one week, like, he paid for it. <laughs> like, hey, lady, he told me the whole story. He opened the door. He was thinking, like, maybe she'd be hot. She wasn't hot. She was, like, 55. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. There ain't even no milk left in no titties. She kept it going for like 10 years. You know what I mean? She just kept rolling it. 20 years after the kid, she's still squeezing milk. Yeah, he said her kid's kid's in college. (laughs) Shit's all gray. She's like squirting him in the eyes. (laughs) (laughs) He comes home for Christmas. She's like squirting him in the eye, trying to get him the bite. Oh, Oh, man. Hey, you fucking... Right, ah, exactly. Man. Dude, she just kept it wrong. Like a dairy eye. cow. That's what they do with a dairy cow. Eye. They just fucking keep fucking milking them and they just keep producing. Right. Anyway, he had this whole thing and this lady, like, he said that he he's like six foot. <laughs> you know what I mean? So she gets on the couch, you know. Mm-hmm. She's, he said she kind of seemed like a motorcycle chick or something, right? right. Big old things. <laughs> Big old jugs, milk bottles. <laughs> you know, with that good spread out areola, you yeah. know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> big old little wiener areola. Squeeze that thing in the middle, shooting every time. <laughs> like out of four what spigots. Them? Yeah. Like multiple like spigots. Busted ass shower head on it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. Hey, so A he... busted fire hydrant. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Shooting fucking every fucking like a, way, right? Yeah, Looking like a, like a yeah, manhole cover. Keep his cover. mouth on the fucking thing. Right, the big, shooting yeah, his yeah, eye and his ear. Grip, big wide right, grip, right, right, right. right. So he like said that he. So she sits on the couch, right? And he's like supposedly going to community college and doing this weird shit. Right. And he's like laying on the couch, right, like facing her, and he starts like breastfeeding or whatever, right? <laughs> she starts breastfeeding him. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. And I, I asked him, I'm like, what are you a fucking nut? Yeah. How do you know she doesn't got any disease, bro? Yeah. That's body Ugh. fluids, you freak. Ugh. And then he said that, like, afterwards, she wouldn't leave. Oh. She's like, I'm going to make you milkshake now. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, she was having a... With pancakes. Yeah, with pancakes. <laughs> she was having a hard yeah, time. Yeah, the blender. She started squeezing her titties She started blender. telling him, you know, like, yeah, man, I'm I'm kind of I'm looking for... I really don't have anywhere to go. Right. Do <laughs> you have any roommates here or what? And it was like a three-bedroom house. I'm like, actually looking for him. And she's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's And he was crazy. having a hard time, like, because he wasn't real assertive, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? She smelled that right away. Because right. she was breastfeeding this idiot. He's like, oh, yeah. Probably like, I'm moving in. Yeah, he actually left. He's like, well, I gotta go get groceries. I'll be back, you know, all the stuff. She wouldn't leave until eventually, like, 11 p.m. at night. He's like, you gotta go. And, uh, yeah, that was the dude. He he was into some... uh, But it wasn't his thing. You know what I mean? He was just trying it. But I was like, bro, that's, like, way out there for trying. Just to try. Yeah, I don't know what his... I don't know if it was, like, a... A suicidal thing or like what he's doing that's just pretty weird you still with your girl bow tie yeah no oh okay 
Oh, right. that's, that's a long time ago. Right? I'm not yes. knowing because, you know, I, I don't stay up on game enough. What's going on out there with all that? You just staying solo right now? I'm just chilling, man. Concentrate on business, you know, in and out of town. Making things happen. It's hard to be in a relationship and gone. Yeah, I can yeah, see that. Yeah, that could pose a problem. You know, I could see that. Time difference is this, why, who, where, what. Fuck. Energy, like the anxiety. Like, man, I love you, but like, I got to go to bed over here. It's like, you know, 11 p.m. And then, you know, being in an industry, they think everything's a fucking party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're just yeah. living the highlight. Just, you yeah. know, like a rock star. Right. With no yeah. band. Right. You know. Right. So, yeah, it's it's rough. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I can't imagine that. Well, I'm a settled down dude, so I don't even get out. I'm like a shut in. I yeah, barely. But that's a different is... thing. You already, you know, you're there. That's but true. what you look at at night is reflecting right now in our conversation. What do you mean? The stuff he knows about that we don't. Uh, what do you mean? You're creating content. You're uh, doing research on, you know, guys that drink milk and <laughs> fucking <laughs> flapjacks and yeah, you know all the terms and all the things. You know, uh, right? So right. You know, that's it. That's it. That is it. What do, what's going on right now with rides and shit? I mean, I'm just hearing. Has do, do you are you feeling what's going on in the economy and is it starting to affect people buying cars or are you? You know, the price has actually dropped dramatic. You know, you know, it was like I said before. Somebody jumps on something and he paid a hundred grand for that car. This dude wants a one. Hey, I paid one ten for that. One twenty. Right. I mean, some of the prices for some of the cars are sold. It's like it's bullshit, but it happened. Right. Mm -hmm. So then I found out these so-called ballers. There's a company. There's two companies out there, and I had one approach me and said, "Hey, if you're interested in selling vehicles, we could help out with the sale." I said, "How? Oh, we finance cars. So about I say a good thirty percent of those cars that were high end, this, that, and the other. These." I guess Loan Shark, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Right. Financed a lot of these cars. I was actually on the boulevard with him one night. I ran him again and we're talking. He's like, yeah, I own that one, that one, that And he's pointing to all these cars. Financed. He says, I own them all until they pay me. And this was all right after COVID, you know, PPP loans or whatever they were. PE. Bro, they ain't All playing. that shit that was they going on. on that. That's when all these car prices went up, everything went up, everything got outraged. Yeah, you know what, man? That's true. And I'll tell you something, man. Also, remember, like there was a minute there where the used car market was like, yeah, blowing up. But that was because that company Carvana had just pretty much cornered the market and started price controlling that yeah, shit. Yeah, they did that. And then there was the thing where you couldn't get the chips mm -hmm. for oh, the, right. the the fobs for the keys because of China. And so, but Carvana is going tits up. I heard Carvana is going tits up, and I heard that like if you just chill out, yep. In about six months, yep. They've got to start unloading this all this massive Listen, inventory. Let me tell you something. We had to meet up over by. We use Carvana as a as a as a marker, right? Like as a landmark to meet up. Mm -hmm. When I got there, there was a flatbed, big ass fucking truck loading up about sixteen cars to take them away. Well, obviously nobody purchased those. And you know, I can you guarantee you that. And watch your car come down. Yeah, and I can guarantee you there was some fucking somebody I knew knew some people that started Carvana, some tech fucking. You know, I can assure you those motherfuckers made off with some money. Well, they had to. Have. Sure, Before but... Before it all came down. Maybe, but I mean, they're, <clears throat> they're... Yeah, so, like, I don't know what you think about is, like, a big chunk of change, right? Like, when you declare bankruptcy, right, they really do reorganize all that shit, and they do have creditors, and they, they, they throw your shit on the auction block, and then they pull your thing apart. And part of the problem is, too, is, like, um, uh, the entire... So, they're predicting, like, 2023 is gonna be a bruiser year. For everybody, it ain't gonna go good. Uh, they're saying that um, you know, obviously Tesla lost what sixty percent of its value in like three months. Think about that. Tesla lost more than half of its fucking value in uh, three months. How does that happen to Tesla? Is that because the batteries are bad, or because fucking the fucking money currency shit went down? I don't know. Sean's moving. He's actually moving out of his stasis. I heard they were over inflate, like the price was inflated. 
Like it wasn't worth what you know the evaluation or whatever. It was well, just a hot thing. That makes sense because when they um, came out with the smaller model, the one that was affordable or whatever the Echo Economy or whatever the yeah, it, right? people had to wait a year to right. pay for the car. So right. they were already behind then. And you know, and you know what? I was talking to somebody who went on to um, some. I don't know, sites where you put in like uh, car complaints and shit like that, uh -huh. reviews and all that stuff. They were saying that these Teslas are pieces of shit. I've heard the same thing. They were saying that they read complaints where like they took the Tesla through a fucking car wash and water was coming through the fucking ceiling. Well, I can wow. see all that happening. It's and, all mass produced plastic. Right. Think about it. So. And I hear constantly how the batteries. Once those batteries catch on fire, they can't even put those motherfuckers out. No. Right, right. And so, like, so, 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 when I started hearing that, right, I was like, oh, okay, well, because initially, you remember how glowing the fucking PR was for that oh, company. Every, and every oh, odd, they bring every, the fucking and every shop chick to you. Wanted a fucking everybody, right, yeah. everybody. Right, right. So they, they, I don't know how they did it, but they were able to place, like news articles and places and such so that it sounded like it was that fucking uh, how apple they do of that? fucking yeah, car. Yeah, the motherfucking, they got the money to buy motherfuckers to sell that. And then, all that shit. But then, right, but then, so then I was thinking like, so then maybe the Twitter thing that he's done was not about I, maybe it was about distracting from the and, and causing and blaming the drop in the value of the Tesla on him acting like a fool on Twitter, not because the cars themselves were pieces of shit. Hmm. Right? Like, uh. he gets on there, he acts a fool, he fucking, you know, does a titty twister on Trump, and everybody thinks he's an idiot, and then the value drops around the same time, and they say, oh, it's just public antics. But in reality... Sell more stock, sell more stock. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then in reality, his fucking company was falling <laughs> apart because Trash. he was wrong. He did not go in and redefine the system and build up the fucking best way to build cars. And he didn't reinvent jack shit. He's a full of shit. Where's that fucking tunnel beating all the traffic? Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? He was like walking around talking about, I don't beat the traffic. Blah, blah, blah. I ain't seen shit. Except him without a shirt on. Looking like a fucking sucking cocks. Looking like a boiled crap. <laughs> Pancakes. Yeah. Looking for a black titty mama. Right, right, right. No, but seriously. So, so now I'm like, yeah, he's just doing that. But then I also think too, like I'm like, well, you know, how did he get put in the position in the first place? Like he was like everybody's favorite dude two years ago. Somewhere along the line, something happened where I, I just feel like people. Yeah, I don't know. Some important people t did not, no longer liked his bullshit. Well, that's that's how it goes. You gotta go, you know. Uh, hey man, I, I, I think they're ball. sweating him down on that transvestite hole ordeal he got caught up with. Do you remember uh, that? With yeah. the Thailand? Yeah. Yeah. Remember? Called that dude a pedo, and then he had to go to fucking for defamation. Yeah. Got sued. <laughs> yeah, there's some. What's he involved in? Like, don't you gotta fly a rocket, motherfucker? Like, stop. He's involved in some crazy shit. There, yeah, man. you know what, man? Get, maybe you don't need. Maybe you should stop talking to people and get back to work, motherfucker. My fucking car's leaking right now. <clears throat> fucking batteries burning up. Battery car. Jesus Christ! Man. What are you doing? Yeah. Meanwhile, other companies like Rivian. Have you seen those? Mm -hmm. That fucking electric fucking truck is looking dope. And they don't have any loud mouth motherfuckers. You know what's funny? <laughs> it's all electric vehicles. Go ahead. I've seen. Yeah. I've been dealing with batteries all my life. Right. right. They only last so long. Sure. Charge them, charge them, charge them. They burn out, right? Sure. So, you know, now with all these cars, and the best one you see on the internet, people are driving around with generators because they pull into these stations, and the stations are fucking broken. Right. Or the homeless have figured out a way to fucking tap the power, <laughs> and, and now they're running fucking cords there. So you go to go plug in your car. It's like, fuck! What tweaker was just here biting on this? <laughs> you know. So now they're doing a whole block. You know, they got two twenty or whatever it takes to fucking charge these things. Uh, you know, lighting up a neighborhood, right? <laughs> fucking motorhomes and tents right. and shit. You know, so right. But it's just crazy. And then they factor that's your driving mileage, say four hundred miles. Cool. What about the whole time you're sitting there with all your electronics on? Right. 
That's in right. LA traffic. That's you know, right. Forty five minutes just going down the fucking ten. Right. That's Come just on. like miles per gallon. You know, they I'm try to factor, but they put these miles per gallon. That the whole fucking thing is a complete fraud because they got the perfect conditions all set up. But, but you'll never be in those because you'll be in LA no. traffic. All that shit. No, no, no. That's true. But yeah, it's just a whole thing. And then this whole power grid and all this other bullshit. And there's some people I know that are converting an Impala into a lowrider or. I don't know, some kind of electric thing. They, sure. I mean, they sell sense. these uh, motors that look like stock gas motors. They drop them in there. <laughs> now you're running fucking X amount more batteries and shit. I mean, it's pretty trick, but it takes so many batteries to convert these cars. I can only think that if the United States can get off the oil economy, it is going to be like a leap year ahead of the rest of the countries. The minute the United States no longer needs oil, gas, and has to deal with those Texas assholes and all that other bullshit that they deal with, the Saudis, the fucking headaches with the Russians, all that bullshit. The minute they can just switch over to that, they'll fucking make classic cars with that shit in it. And then we won't, I mean, we won't need their bullshit anymore. True. But look at all the cars that are running hydrogen now. Right. You know, look at the man-made ones that were like late 80s, early 90s, 2000s, and all those guys disappeared. Yeah, all those guys that came up with ways to run your fucking engine on vegetables and fucking yeah. Remember mineral that? water. Yeah, all those Doc guys are Brown. dead. Yeah. But the thing of it is, that's true, but, but you got to imagine that the guys at the top of those industries mm -hmm. right somewhere so somewhere at the top of oil companies car companies the construction companies that make the roads somewhere at the top you're starting to talk to politicians and you're dealing with international fuckers and when you get to the top and you gotta imagine like if they got think tanks right they got a bunch of eggheads whose whole job is to sit around and think about bullshit They've had to been thinking about this oil situation for a long ass time. So oh, they, yeah. So they probably have a timeline. So if some guy came along before it was time to pinch the straw and get off the fucking thing, was like, yeah, you just put Wesson oil in his motherfucker in there. They probably did get rid of that guy, but they do have a, I bet you they got a schedule with us. Like, yeah, yeah, this well, one we're going to start letting this out. And we're yeah. Done. I mean, that's already happening. They're telling you, oh, we have a shortage on diesel. Right. And half people are like, well, we don't give a fuck about diesel. Mm -hmm. But your trains, big rigs, your ships, everything that fucking runs the world is on diesel. All that transport, bro, that makes the economy go round. And it's crazy, but there's a lot of shit coming back to the United States now in manufacturing. They just made all these new rules, right, where the China can't make any more of our fucking processor chips. No more chips, China. They made, and China took a fucking case to the World Trade Organization because we just made new rules to ice them out of what we're doing now. And it doesn't matter because in the World Trade Organization rules, you can go there and complain about imbalanced trade and all these problems or new rules, but if it also involves national security, the national security trumps all that other shit. So China goes to the World Trade Organization and say, it's not fair. America's all of a sudden no longer manufacturing chips. They had these deals and blah, blah, blah. And all the United States, I say, yeah, well, it's national security now. And that's it. Done deal. Done deal, pal. So all that shit's coming back. And it's probably because we are entering another level of tech where it's like, yeah, we're no longer going to allow our enemies to have access to it to make copies and figure out whatever they want to figure out. Good point. They're probably going to fucking, uh, they're probably going to get rid of TikTok. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think so. Well, mm. I maybe. You know what's crazy about TikTok? Like, I think about all this shit, right? I think about all this stuff all the time, and I'm like, first of all, the internet was invented by the federal government, by the military. That's, it was the Pentagon and, uh, uh, those guys, right, that invented the internet in the beginning for military purposes. It, I think originally it was in case of a nuclear war, we could communicate through a whatever, right? These guys that work in the Pentagon and separate, um, oh, fuck, I wish I could think of the name. There's a name for, it's called DARPA. Okay. This is the elite of the elite of the elite forward in um funding of all kinds of tech 
that could have potentially a military application. It was when we did the drone show, DARPA was the one that was pushing this concept of a remote fucking triggered fucking bomb that could, you know, drone that could fly that now it's like everybody's got one. But they were they were ahead of it by decades. Mm. So DARPA, right? You got to imagine that uh where they're going with weapons and where they're because at some point the economy and and national security do they're they're on the same page if you can keep dude if you can keep a company i mean a country at war long enough oh billions trillions they're already running out of ammunition in europe they're running out who do you think is going to fucking sell them all our old shit me. Who do you? <laughs> well, I found, I found a side job. <laughs> Who do you think? I mean, how else are, do you think we get rid of some of our old missiles and shit like that? We give them to Ukraine. They can use them on these fucking Russian motherfuckers. I mean, think about it. Why wouldn't you start up a whole new thing? Big money. Big money, bro. Big motherfucking money. And so they got now. They they and they've let it out of the bag. They've got drone fucking navies over in the Ukraine that we've given them. Drone navies that fucked up the Russian navy. Yeah, you know, they got really? they got fucking you know <clears throat> Admiral <clears throat> Shitkoff up there fucking drinking and you know man we're gonna full steam ahead. Meanwhile, yeah. this little fucking remote control fucking cruise missile laden fucking boats. They're, they're blowing. pretty high tech. I got a buddy that flies them. Well, now they changed it. What do you mean? He used to fly them, take off, and send us videos of what they were doing, their little missions, right? Yeah. Somebody showed somebody higher up, oh, what the fuck are you doing with that on your phone? So now they switch the program. He'll fly them out, and then midway, at a certain altitude, somebody else in another control booth, whether it's another state, fucking guides them, does a mission, and somebody else will land them. Yeah, and that's what they so do with... one person has... Full control. Full, full control. Well, they have that definitely for the, in the early drones when they were doing the drones over in Afghanistan. They had figured it all out. To do it across the globe, you needed to use partially the internet and satellites, and you had a crew whose whole job was to get it up into the ground. Those guys that got it up into the air, they were there where the drone was. Once it got up to a certain thing, Langley would link in, and then some fucker in a fucking... You know, trailer would be fucking drinking fucking rock stars yeah, and they fucking get like shipping containers in the middle of the fucking desert. Yeah, they do. Just doing their thing. So now you got figure two on top of all of that, right? Like, I mean, remember Putin? Remember? 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 It was going to be like. Remember? remember? Like, it was going to be Putin was going to have Ukraine in like. Squish them. 24 <laughs> hours. We're going on almost a year. How did they get Zelensky to the White House? I mean, that dude. Listen, motherfucker. This dude was in a war torn country on the front end of the thing. Fucking Chernobyl might blow up. Blah, 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 blah. Somehow, we're able to fly his ass over to the White House and do a congressional fucking thing, sign a medal, get some pizza, slap some backs. You know, yeah, the whole and thing. And send him back in. And send house. him back. How the fuck, bro? Movie magic. <laughs> I mean, that's why I, sometimes I tell some of like I got a, I got guns. I'm not tripping on that. But sometimes I tell some of these gun freaks, I'm like, listen, if Russia can't stop Zelensky from flying to Washington, D.C. and coming back and they got all the shit they got, what makes you think your little AR-15 is going to do jack shit to the federal government when it comes knocking at your door, motherfucker? I mean, Russia can't even take out Ukraine. You're up in fucking Idaho. You can't do shit. You barely just figured out how to order Wendy's chili. And then you're going to go mm. fucking take... You don't need no gun. It ain't going to help nothing. Mm. What the fuck are you doing? Like, get off of that. We got other <laughs> We got other problems. Think about that, bro. That's... Interesting. It's very intense right now. And they just had that fusion experiment where they got a little bit further down the road on clean nuclear energy like remember yeah. and dude adam there hit me up he's like dude there's all kinds of ufos on the day that that happened they were all spotted yep. all yep. over everywhere yep i gotta see one though 
I got this time I need to see. Me too, you. man. I find you did, I believe bro. In... Santa, Santa I know, Monica. Man. I, I, I've been oh, in... I've seen some weird things flying around. Look, I've been in the entertainment industry over 20 years. Okay. Five years. Go ahead. And I've seen shit that everybody's watching now that we did 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. I was telling everybody in media, hey, we're already shooting 8K. The fuck you mean 8K? They're just talking about four. Bro, we're already shooting 8K. <laughs> Single dimension room, like, you know, the shit we're doing. Holograms way before the fucking thing. Mm -hmm. The biggest test was Tupac when he came out. And everybody, oh, it was great. You see, so but did you realize the lights were still shining through him, but you could see him? Mm. And then they did Michael Jackson. Right. Now you got all this other shit. All of a sudden, you know, reindeers are flying in the fucking sky right now. Right. And people are believing it. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's, you know, man, between I can't... green screen and holograms and all this technology that people don't know about, we'd see firsthand, hey, test this out and see how it works. Green right. Green screen, green screen, purple screen, all kinds of shit. Right. So this shit drives me crazy because some people are grown ups and they see like a light fucking reindeer in the sky and they legit are like, hey, can a reindeer fly? I'm like, motherfucker. I mean, OK, that's this like people are just gullible. Look, 15 years ago, it was the picture of Jesus on a fucking uh, grilled cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know? but like, like I feel like... In a pancake. Yeah. Oh, back to the pan. But see, like, I feel like, you know, all right, okay, you know, Jesus, you know... Applesauce, maybe. Yeah. But like, you know, that's 2,000 years ago. You know, did that happen? Didn't it happen? I don't know. It's been around and the Catholic Church got a whole brothers. I kind of... But like, dude... I know an adult who watched, I know an adult who watched Twilight. It was a fucking movie. All right? I'm fucking, I got credits and everything. There's nothing hiding that it's a movie. And this adult later asked me, you think vampires are real? I fucking bop. Who are you hanging out with there? Some real dumb motherfuckers. But everybody Mother. has a belief for some reason that something exists like that. Whether it be aliens, vampires, fucking talking dogs, you know what I'm saying? There's just boom. And I've come across a lot of them. If, if everybody's got one, what's yours, Mr. Bowtie? That I believe in? What's yours? Ooh, the perfect woman. Ah, oh, <laughs> good answer. Oh, hell no. Uh -huh. I keep believing. <laughs> keep believing. What about you, keep Big Lex? Faith. You believe in UFOs, man. I absolutely. know you do. Absolutely. 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 Oh, blue eyes? Yeah, I definitely... I think UFOs are... I'm seeing more... I've seen shit in the last two years, I guess, that makes me think even more about the what? UFOs are real and shit. <gasps> Just like different reports, like, you know, Navy... There's too many. Too yeah. many coming from too many legitimate sources. <sighs> it's not just some crazy dude in fucking Wisconsin anymore. <laughs> it's like... The fucking, but the head of fucking the, the fucking Europe or England's fucking air force and fucking like people like that. Yeah, but like ex naval fucking officers and shit like every that. time I read the actual reports, they definitely say they see something they've never seen before and it's flying. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's off world. Well, no, the people that I've that the people that I've heard that they've interviewed, they're like, "That's not anything that, that's not anything I, in our military that's top secret." Because yeah. they wouldn't be testing it in these locations at these times if it was. They're like, and it's not anything we made. Yeah. Uh, when you start having a fucking admiral and a colonel and a motherfucking. Head of the fucking because they would kill a guy like that if they really needed to fucking keep it secret. I mean, they, I don't you, think we they just need got to, done killing the Western. I don't think dude. they need to keep it secret. I think that they can let all these people talk, and there's enough people that are like making all those funny faces. <laughs> you don't like those faces? It just yeah. seems no, crazy. But there's enough people like that yeah. that they'll still be able to play it off for a while. But I think it's. I think that there's been. I think it's getting out of hand. I think that pretty soon there's going to be. Some real news I, for us about that. Well, I, I, I sure hope so, because that would be a real game changer if that happened. <laughs> oh, man, definitely. Like I said, there's something out there. Look, there's giants. They've been covering them up for years. <laughs> That's true. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Or the, or the fuck? foot fucking tall people, and they got the bones, all of a sudden they get swept up. So what about Sasquatch, man? They've been fucking hiding. That. They did the Sasquatch. They did that whole thing hiding in plain sight. They just show it everywhere and make everyone think it's fake. But look at the ocean now, you know? Yeah. Shit they're discovering now. now yeah. They have this big valley that opened up in the middle of fucking nowhere. Nah, they knew about that since... Well, they'll say they know, but they couldn't get there. Now right. they have the technology to get there. Right. And they got down in the bottom. These fish and all this shit and critters and creatures. So there's, there's stuff everywhere. I mean, look it. All I'm telling you is, is, you know... I don't know why they'd have to keep it secret. Well... I will give you something to think about. Do it. Do it. Hmm. And don't make it about pancakes. To get, I think it's to the center of the earth is 400,000 feet. Okay. I think that's what they said it was, right? I don't know, but it's a long ways. It's a long ways. And that the furthest that we've ever gotten is 8,000 feet. That's the furthest we've got. So, some scientists were saying we know very little about the planet Earth. We haven't even, if you've gone 8,000 feet, is the farthest that anybody's ever drilled or gone down to see what's going on inside the Earth. Yeah. And there's 400,000 feet right. to the center. Right. Well, eight's nothing. We haven't gotten anywhere yet True. to see. So, I think that, I don't know, There's. I think that there's stuff inside of this earth. I don't know if this earth there is. There is. All the old mining shops are now military bases. <laughs> Research that one. Listen, fucking dinosaurs in the middle of the fucking. But I believe, I believe the earth is flat. Stop it. Now you're no, trying, trying, come now on. You're starting to shit. I'm just come saying. Just starting to shit. Now I've you seen get it, that. I've seen it with my own eyes. I think Earth's hollow inside. Listen, I think the, the, the fucking top. there's dinosaurs inside the Earth that are running around. Fighting. How about, you get the, down how about the land of the lost? Bone they found in Utah recently. Those still, are all made up. There's no had, real dinosaur bone. I've never seen one. DNA. Yeah. And blood tissue in it. So now there's these scientists that are trying to recreate and clone. That's why I'll never go south of the equator. It's a fucking point. Jurassic Park, dude. I don't fuck around like that. No, but I will say this. I will say this. One thing that that I am, that I did read about is the Burgess shell. This will be something that is Burgess shell. A shell just means like a a type of rock made out of like mud flat shit. It's called the Burgess shell because they found it in some area called Burgess. But the point of it is is <clears throat> 570 million years ago. 570 million. 570 million years ago. Fucking how long ago is that? Uh, about 570 million years. They fucking <laughs> listen. They, five hundred seventy million. Years. They so who the fuck is speaking on five hundred seventy million years ago? Really fucking old ass fucking uh, archaeologists whose whole job it is is to cut oh. layers out of the earth. So they know how to date the layers of the earth based on right. When you cut deep enough and you cut a chunk out, mm -hmm. you can like this, it takes a certain amount of time for all the sediment to come down. Mm -hmm. So in this Burgess shell, okay, they found from 570 million years ago a whole host of animals that have no relation to the animals we know today. Zero, right? It was so weird for them because slightly before this moment in, in geologic time, like I want to say that like, for like 2.4 billion years, there was like no life on planet Earth. At least in all of the Earth that they've pulled out, there's like no single-celled organisms, no bacteria, no even algae, nothing, right? All of a sudden, for like a like maybe 100 million years, there's just real simple shit. They fucking mold. And then all of a sudden, at this period of time, which in the Earth's time is maybe not that long, but for us it's like a long time. A couple, like there's this explosion of weird animals that bear no relation. Fossils and bones and shit they're finding. Like weird fucking like um, animals that have like a shrimp tail coming out the head, and they've done and they've done. It's they, they discovered it. I want to say in like 1930, and they've been studying it for 70 years. And for the first 20. They thought they were like proto crabs, but now they found arthropods in it, and they looked at it closely with lasers and all that other shit that they do now. And they're like, "Yeah, there's nothing 
So what the guy is saying, the scientist that knows about all this shit is saying is, is that during this time, for whatever reason, the way life was set up, there was a real explosion of diversity in body shapes. He said, if you look now, like going back in evolution, there's really like five body types. It's not really that different. It's, it's like lizards, dogs, horses, like, you know, it's like there's a chassis and then there's these legs and, and there's variation in the like endpoints or whatever. But in terms of like constitutionally how the body's designed, the full body itself, it's not that much, ver that's not really that different. It's stabilized after this Burgess period, but they don't know why, right? Some people think it's God, some people think they don't know. But at this point in time, it got real weird in the oceans. <laughs> and the only reason why we know about it is because some sort of fucking mudslide with no oxygen in it came down crushed all these things flattened them and because there's no oxygen there was no decay and you know 1930 some fucking dude fucking digging some shit up just right here and, and found it and found that shit so to your point it does support the concept that we don't know very much about the earth life the why li the ocean why life began these are things that like you wouldn't even hear about it like, unless somebody was spending the whole time talking about that but when i started in the studio business you know 25 plus years ago yeah um i had an older cat he was already like 70 something Quincy he was just Jones. a funny guy Quincy Jones. and we were at sony and he says hey kid I'll tell you two things keep your mouth shut and don't believe what you see because this is where we did the moon landing as we walked by the stage, mm -hmm. fucking kept going. He said that to you? He said that. I'm just saying. No, I mean, maybe... And then after I learned the business, the tricks, the film... Yeah. And we created that shit before, and you do stuff with, like, it's like... You know. Man, I, I have a hard real. time believing that what they sent landed and took off. Because it was like fucking tinfoil. So I'm just saying. No, you're serious right now. I am. I am. I've learned a lot of tricks and some truth of people tell you this had happened. And then you come to find out, fuck, it was true. Old bastard, he wasn't crazy. He, They really did that. So, I don't know, man. That's why I said everybody has their own beliefs. But the thing is, people don't take time to research themselves. Well, I'll tell you this much. I really like this concept because I, on the one hand, it's entirely possible, 1,000% possible, we had the technology possible to fake that shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was a given. All right. So I can't rule what you're saying out completely, mm -hmm. right? But then I got to look at probabilities and start thinking about it. Now, I'm skeptical, but I, uh, big luck to know that I'm skeptical all the time. It's not, it's just my stance. I'm not yeah. necessarily... I don't even so I would like to really look in this and look into the moon landing first. I think that's the one conspiracy that kicked it all off. Like I, that was the beginning of starting to believe that like uh and then 9/11 and then uh and then deep state and, uh, and then JFK and, and we're living in a jar of jelly. Mm -hmm. So I want to look at this and I want to look at all the pros and cons. Let's well, get let's, br let's bring fucking let's bring uh Mr. Bowtie in again. Right. And let's do the deep dive. Have you seen The Gray State? Uh, uh no. Oh, write that one. Put that in your notes. All right, I won't put, put this that in. in your put notes. Put that in your put notes, in your Indian. Notes. The gray State. And I'll tell you something else, though. But So, while it could very well be this older cat, right, mm -hmm. was telling you what was going on, it could also be that the older cat was playing a trick on you and laughing about it later. Mm, I don't know. He didn't seem like that tight. He was a real hard ass back then. You know, they were still throwing hammers at you and shit. They could motherfuck you and, you know, kick you out and do all that stuff. But then why? You know, would... then it was mandatory to drink a beer at lunch, too. You know, not now where. I mean, dude, you I can mean. offend somebody for saying hi. Well, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> they used to have a bar cart in most offices. Yes. You can go around and just get yeah. fucking schlocked. That was yeah. part of it. That was normal. That was right. That was working. Yeah. All right, well. God bless you, Mr. Bowtie. Thank you very much. You're an interesting, interesting guy. guy. Fucking Mr. Bowtie right here. We're going to go in deep on the moon landing. Moon, moon land. landing. I'm bringing it all. Great state. 
Gray State. I'm bringing it all. Gray State and Moon Landing. Including the people behind it. Because if you got a question, the main source, you also got to question all the other sources. We need to get to why the would bottom the, Why that. would the Chili Peppers mention their song? What? They mentioned. What do you mean? The Californication? You? Yeah. They talk about the moon landing? Yeah. Go listen to the song. I mean, I respect the Chili Peppers, but I don't know that they know anything. I mean, the mind state, you'd be amazed at the mind state you're in where you perceive a lot of knowledge. No, I mean, you're right, for sure. I just don't know if the chili peppers are inside anything or, you know. No, but... <laughs> Anthony Kiedis is cool, we've, we've but... Like, exposed to something in this industry and element. I would agree with that, for sure. I would say this, man. I don't even know if you have to go through those lengths to hide shit. The, you, we're, I, we were just got done talking about how... It, we're so inside the, the the work or the job environment that we it's really hard for us to see it as just a degree of slavery or like a degree right. of control. We don't see it like that because we're just so in it and it seems like we have all these options, but really you don't. True. So I don't even know if you have to go, listen, man, this that's guy. A, that's deep. Right. But that's why I chose to do what I do. Right. Get up when I want. We're same here, bro. Whatever the fuck I want. Same here, bro. As long as my wife happy. approves it, I'm cool. See, there you go. <laughs> Team player. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am. Let me tell you. Happy though. wife, happy life. Listen, I changed it to happy spouse, happy house. Because mm. you know what? The guy's got to be happy, too. You know what? I've never been married, so I don't know. No, I got to tell you. I've been, I, mm. I'll tell you. I've been married twice. First one was too nice. Somehow I need a tough chick. I need uh, that, all right? Uh -huh. But I do think not one person can do everything on their own. I do think you need a team. Fucking finale, tell me, because I've been doing it on my own for a long time. <laughs> you can't scale up on your own. You can't scale up. There's a limit. Everybody's got limits. What, and do, you, what do you consider a limit on scaling up? Well, let me put it to you this way. I don't know what your vision of success is necessarily, so I can't really speak to what you're saying, but I can definitely say this, right? As an attorney, mm -hmm. right? There's a p point at which I'm, I can handle everything. I know how it's going to go, mm -hmm. right? But as, a, as one man, I'm only going to be able to get his, some jobs done. I'm not going to be able to start multiplying my efforts. True. So I've got to start developing a team, right? And I have a team. So right, I've got a litigation team. I've got two lawyers now. Now I've got to train them up on how I do it, but also leave a space open for their, their own innovation. Right. And the second one, right? So... I'm doing that. Now, they can handle, right, as many cases that they can handle. That's one, two, three. And if I can add on to that, then you can, you can build. Yeah. You can scale up. And I can't do, my business is not the kind of, I mean, my business is not the kind of business where you can just do high volume, right? I'm yeah, not trying to make a widget. You knock them out, yeah. Right. So, what I need then, right, in order to scale up at that level from a team is like, my wife is also an attorney and she's my partner. Oh, there you go. So she knows my mind about as well as anybody's going to. Huh. So you have that the supervisor level and the, the ones I'm bringing up, right? I'm also going to, I'm making them a part of the process so that maybe they too will then be their own heads. And yep. they'll have people. That's right. the only way. But that takes time. That takes sacrifice. Everybody knows that's what you're supposed to do, but it's really hard to execute. Yeah, I can see that happening. Because it's hard to delegate. Man, it's hard to turn something over to somebody. That is true. Right? Because you know they're not going to be able to do it like you do. No. I've ran through people, you know. So have we. Just, so have we. It just doesn't work. It's hard. That's very hard. To and do. it's harder and harder to find any good people. Well, it's hard to find good help these days. That is true, but also it does require a little bit of being able to motivate and inspire people. Incentivize. Or, you know, just have them believe that you care. You care about the process. Hey, follow my guy, Mr. Bowtie. Yeah. Where Follow do we go? Mr. How Bowtie. Do we, how do we? Right how do you get the money? What do we do? Where do Mr. we send Bowtie the checks? Sixty six Instagram. Just hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> get the right low rider. Get it built right by get Mr. Bowtie. Right. We got a new product coming out next year. Parts, accessories, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. All made in house. Nice. So done the right way. Yeah. Right. So well, real low rider builders. 
real lowriders out of SoCal, you need to follow Mr. Bowtie. That's 66. it. 66. Also, if you want to learn some new shit, you got to follow Mr. Bowtie. 66. That's some interesting stuff. Yeah. Oh, Always. Keep it, Grace keep it interesting. Yeah. Oh, Blue Eyes has tried to end this show about five times. Mm-hmm. Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah what's up, man? Oh! Uh, <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, what you got there, partner? Ovando Bow and LLP were building the team. There you go. No one can do it by themselves. We work together. Stronger together. What Speaking of teams, mm-hmm. shout out to Raul. Shout out to Instagram yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Shout out to Calco. Sean at movementmental.media for all your audio podcasts and needs. Don't forget to hit us up at www.heartluckshow.com. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to King Salmon, Dragon Bags, Popping Badges, or whatever the fuck it's called, Popping Badges. Yeah. Mike Angelo, Photography, Big Pick Mike. Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? BigPickMike.com. Big Pick Mike on Angelo. Uh, <laughs> www.supermaxhardware.com and Cookies. SF.com. Yeah. Vibes Rolling Papers. Yeah. Big shout out to Esteban. Soul yes. Assassin. Big yes. shout out to Burner and that crew. And uh, listen, shout out to uh, Enzo's Pizzeria. Right. Listen to the Hard Luck Show Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Follow Mr. Bowtie. Yes. 66. You want real lowriders. We are out of here. Hasta la vista. All right, man.